Welcome to the Canadian Beef Cattle Podcast, presented by the Beef Cattle Research Council. The most popular content from beefresearch.ca, available on the go. Before we get into this week's episode, a quick message from the BCRC. In beef production, genetics play a critical role in both management and profitability. Regardless of the size of your operation or whether you are a commercial or purebred breeder, keeping records is an important part of managing your herd genetics. It's not enough to simply know which data to collect, you have to know how to use it. To assist producers with this process, the Beef Cattle Research Council, BCRC, in partnership with the Alberta Beef Producers, Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture, Canadian Beef Breeds Council, University of Guelph, and the Maritime Beef Test Station, launched a free records for tracking genetic improvements email course in February 2024. A new updated version was recently released in November 2024. Register for the course today and transform your herd at beefresearch.com ca slash genetics dash course or by clicking the link in the show notes this episode is titled six tips for managing beef cattle in cold weather hi i'm kristen thompson with the beef cattle research council winter has settled in across canada bringing snow freezing rain and chilling winds as temperatures drop it is important to monitor how cattle are coping with the cold and how it is impacting their ability to remain productive Our team at the BCRC recently released a winter management of beef cattle webpage, which is a comprehensive resource for management and feeding strategies in cold weather conditions. You can find the link to this page in the show notes. Now, here are six tips for managing beef cattle during cold weather. Tip number one, provide weather protection. It is important to remember that when wintering beef cattle, they experience wind chill effects just like we do. Depending on the geographical location, natural protection from the wind and snow is not always readily available. In these situations, construction of man-made windbreaks is necessary. However, the effectiveness of a windbreak is only as good as the design chosen, which is determined by factors such as the number of animals utilizing the structure and the prevailing wind directions. A general recommendation is one foot of fence length for each cow. Tip number two. Water access is key. For optimum health, cattle need a consistent source and adequate supply of water on a daily basis. Water quality and intake will affect cattle growth and performance. Calves less than six months of age can consume between 20 to 50 liters of water per day, depending upon temperature, while growing cattle can consume between 30 and 78 liters daily. Lactating cows require 40 to 60 liters per day. Inadequate access to water during cold weather will limit feed intake and reduce a cow's ability to meet its energy requirements. This results in reduced production performance and a loss in body condition. There are many different water systems available and the suitability of each will depend on a number of factors, such as herd size, water source, access to power, local geographic conditions, and cost. It's important to consider these factors when evaluating winter watering systems. Tip number three, put a focus on body condition. One of the easiest ways to reduce cold stress in cattle is to ensure adequate body condition before winter's onset. Thin cattle do not have fat reserves and require more feed than cows in good body condition in order to tolerate the cold winter months. Monitor body condition regularly, and if cows fall below a body condition score of three, adjust the feeding program to include added supplementation at least 60 days before calving. It is important to remember that cow maintenance requirements increase substantially up to 40% during the winter and during late gestation. As an example, a 1400 pound cow will require about 200 pounds of body weight gain to move from a body condition score of two to three. To make this change in 90 days requires 20% more energy than a cow that is maintaining condition. To do it in 60 days requires 30% more energy. This means it will be 20 to 30% more expensive to improve body condition during the winter. Consider sorting cattle into management groups so you can feed them according to requirements. As an example, you might sort into three groups. Group number one could be mature cows in good condition. 
Group number two, bred replacement heifers and second calf heifers. And group number three, thin or old cows. Tip number four, include added energy in the diet. Cold stress impacts beef cattle nutrient requirements by increasing the need for energy, which can come from either extra feed or body reserves. Energy is typically the most limiting nutrient in winter rations. A general rule of thumb is to provide an extra one pound of grain or pellets per day for every five degrees the temperature is below minus 20 degrees Celsius at midday. This means that a beef cow exposed to a temperature of minus 30 requires a minimum of two pounds additional grain. However, the amount may need to be adjusted depending on exposure to wind or if the cattle are wet. It's important to remember that any additional grain in the ration should be introduced slowly and consistently to avoid upsets to the rumen. Tip number five, provide sufficient bedding. Bedding provides a layer of insulation between the cold ground or snow and the animal, which is crucial to help prevent frostbite, hypothermia, and death. It also works to keep cattle dry and free from mud accumulation, both of which reduce the insulating properties of cattle hair coats, which increases feed requirements. Remember, calves experience cold stress much faster than cows, which increases their susceptibility to disease and lowers growth rates. Areas bedded for calves must be kept clean and dry with new bedding adding free added frequently. In addition, calf warming areas and adequate colostrum should be prepared ahead of any expected periods of extreme cold weather conditions. Tip number six, frequently monitor weather conditions and how cattle are responding. Weather conditions can change rapidly, leading to compromised water access and rendering windbreaks ineffective. Dramatic changes in temperature put extra stress on cattle, particularly those groups that are more susceptible to the cold, such as young calves and under-conditioned cows. Have plans in place for periods of extreme cold weather and watch for signs of cold stress in your herd. Thank you for listening to this week's episode. You can find all relevant links and information at beefresearch.ca or in the show notes. The Beef Cattle Research Council is funded by the Canadian Beef Cattle Checkoff and strives for excellence in the production of Canadian beef, cattle, and forage through research, innovation, and extension. Tune in every Tuesday as the Canadian Beef Cattle Podcast delivers straightforward insights, expert information, and a wealth of practical knowledge for Canadian beef producers. Subscribe now.